when we come to CES, you, you look at the end result of so much of this innovation and you see the, the technology and the devices but someone has got to make that accessible and easy to access and use in the home. And so that's really the context that we look at a lot of these things. We do have a ventures arm as well, and I think the other part of CES is, you, you, again, you look at the end uh, product, but behind that is a lot of innovation, incubation, and investment to get there. And so we have an arm that, that, that explores those uh, opportunities and invest in some of this technology. So we we use the term meta aggregator, but really there is the, the the level and speed of innovation is is only relevant or matched by the ability for you to facilitate that in the home. And so that's kind of our how we see our role. Cool. And um, speaking about at home, what about relevant advertising at home? And I know that uh, you guys have been sort of at the uh, leading edge along with Sky for addressable advertising delivery. Where does that stand uh, in, 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 in Europe in particular through your work in, in, with Virgin and, uh, and other uh, cable systems? Right. Well, the biggest difference with Europe is that in the U.S., most of the addressable focus has been on the two minutes an hour for the cable operators. In Europe, we don't really have that, and so it's really more about enabling the tier one broadcasters in each market. So I'd say that Liberty Global and Sky have been the major influencers of, um, of getting the broadcasters on board with that and bringing them along the journey and convincing them of the value of adding digital attributes to television advertising. And I, you know, we've been able to move the needle with that in Belgium, United Kingdom, Ireland, and now it's shifted from us trying to convince the broadcasters to them now knocking on our door saying, we really want this. We want it for linear, and we want you to help us monetize uh, non-linear as well. And new advertisers are coming on board through this addressable platform. Uh, you're hearing that, I, th I think, through your operators. Well, we're, we're seeing it. Uh, yeah. You know, it opens television advertising up to, to the world. Uh, you know, the, the, while the CPMs are higher, the total campaign costs can be lower. And because of the local, the targeting ability, uh, which opens up local opportunities, there is an entirely new set of advertisers, which is very exciting because not only does that bring new revenue in, but it introduces new challenges uh, and opportunities around formats. Uh, so it's, I think that, you know, it's not, it's not going to replace national brand building advertising but it's this amazing new tool that allows uh, uh, broadcasters and sales houses to go into a brand uh, with, um, you know, with, with a much broader capability in, in being able to engage customers. Great, and uh, finally, what will we see uh, next in, uh, with, with Liberty uh, in terms of um, being lit up and the partnership with Sky? Well, uh, Sky has been very successful and, and the partnership there really just, uh, uh, just grows that scale in the United Kingdom and we're doing the same thing in other markets like in Belgium. So it's really about accelerating that business. That's on the addressable side. On the, uh, uh, with, uh, on the connected home side, it's really about um, facilitating access to some of this amazing technology that you see here at CES.